part because If you want to learn how to get a natural glam, then this video is for you. It's important you do your skin prep and your primer so the makeup can last long in as much as it's natural, alright? So we are going to be doing a skin prep then applying the primer. We are going to go in with our foundation. Remember, we are doing a natural glam, so we'll just add a little foundation. If you want a full coverage on your makeup, you can blend out with a, a, a brush, but if you don't want a full coverage, you can blend out with a, a sponge because a sponge absorbs the product, but brush does not, so brush leaves everything on your face. So I will be using a sponge because it's a natural glam. I don't want a full coverage, yeah? So I'll go with this sponge. Make sure your beauty sponge are always clean because if you want your makeup to turn out well, your beauty sponge has to be clean so that you don't put the other makeup on the new one. I'm not dragging the beauty sponge, I'm dumping the beauty sponge. So this is what you should do, dump a beauty sponge till it all blends into your skin me too because we are doing a natural glam here do this on the other side so i have this little beauty sponge so that is what i'll be using to get into this small and very little highlighter i have on my face to blend this properly into my face So I'll be going in with my dark contour. That is why I did not apply the foundation on my forehead because I am going to apply this on my forehead, my cheekbones, my nose to define the nose. Yeah. So in here and right here. So we are going to be blending this whole thing out. I am taking another part of this beauty blender to blend this contour to define my nose. All right. So for all this other blending, I'll be using a brush to do that. You can see how this side looks and this side. It's putting together, is coming together this side, but this side is not blended yet. So let's blend the other side to see what it would give us. This is me basically just blending everything out with my beauty sponge. So everything just rhymes and blends together on my face. Blush, tiny little blush, because we don't need so plenty. So I'll be using this part to blend. So next up, we'll be adding our highlighter. Yes, this is a natural look, but we still want it to be glamorous, right? So just a little bit. Everything is just going to be on the moderate, right? We are not going to be doing too much, but it is going to glam. <laughs> this time you're using a brush. Pick up your brush and blend your liquid highlighter. If you do have a powdered highlighter, you can do this after your makeup, after the powder form of your makeup. You get me? Well, since I have both powdered and liquid highlighter, I use the both. But this is a natural glam. I don't think I'll be using that in this video. So up next, we're going in with our powdered form of everything. I'll be using this brush because I do not want to apply too much. 
so this is me just getting the light apart and dumping it directly under my eyes remember we do not want to art too much so we also want to apply this here here as well so we're just basically everywhere we have the lighter shade that is where we'll be putting the powdered lighter shade now we're going with a dark shade for our dark shade i'll be defining my nose using the dark powder contour so i'm also putting the dark shade around my face so it doesn't give me a sharp look just wiping out the lines the harsh lines i see on my face we do want to be applying our setting powder but a little like very little like very little because we want a natural glam am i right so we are just trying to avoid the creasing on the eye and we're just applying very very little like little to remove the shines on our face so while we are setting our face we are going to have to do some eyeliner work so as not to make mistake i'll be using my tiny mirror just so i know i get the exact part of what i want so my lips this is what i'll be working on for my lips let's get right into it So now I'll be blending this lipstick, this dark lipstick with a brush just so it blends up so well. So we have this, right? Y'all already know I'm a pink lip girly. And I'm going to be blending that out. This is what we have right And then we have this. Now it's time for the lip gloss. You don't wanna overput the lip gloss. We are going for a natural glam, remember? So it's just something as little as this. So this is a new blending foam and I'll be using it. This is the old one I used. This is the old one that I used to dump. So I'm using a new one dump on and clean off the setting powder properly remember we want a natural look we're going to sharpen our eye pencil tiny brow so after filling in our eyebrows we are going to just conceal the end of our brows My eyeshadow, the girls that know me, know me. The girls that get it, get it. I'm always going to be going in with a nude brownish eyeshadow to complement my nude. So the next step is my blush. And I always like to do an orange color for my blush. I prefer orange to pink on my cheeks for my natural, I mean, my powder blush. Giving makeup wear. Point out the nose. So next, you might want to go in with a setting spray to give it a more shiny look. So I'll give it to you, baby. 